What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a hella 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 exciting video for you guys. I've been waiting to film this for so long. So I'm sure literally everyone in the world has seen the Saint Anne Sinner palette and of course as usual everyone in America and Canada got it before we did. Um, but in October it finally came out in the UK um, and Kat Von D is only sold at Debenhams in the UK, um, but they only have select stands and select stores and whatever. Um, so in my local store, we don't have a Kat Von D stand, which sucks because I would 100% apply, but we don't have one. Um, so I was all set to order this online because it came out on... I can't remember what day it was it came out on, but it just so happened that my friend was going to London that day with her boyfriend, so I was like, would you mind picking this up for me when you're there, like, don't get out of your way, but if you're going to Debenhams on Oxford Street, could you get it? So she ended up going and she grabbed the palette for me and I'm so happy that she did. Yeah, this is the palette, you get 24 eyeshadows in here and in the UK it's £52, I believe in America it's $62, but I'm not entirely sure. So this is the cardboard that it comes in and on the back you've got a layer of all the eyeshadows and all their names. So this side here is the Saint side and this is the Sinner side. So let's go straight in. This isn't a first impressions obviously as I have used this before um, but I just wanted to do like an in-depth review on it. So this is the front of the, pa the palette. This is like the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just, it's so amazing. It's just so like cathedrally and cute and black and gold and amazing. And you can see here, it says Saint here and Sinner down here. There is just so much like care and thought that goes into these products. It is incredible. So again, on the back, we have um, a breakdown of the shades and what they're called so you can easily tell. Um, but they also have the shade names written on the inside as well. Um, so as you open it up, you've got the palette here with all the eyeshadows and then you've got two mirrors on either side, which is really, really cute. It reminds me of like an old style vanity that you kind of open up and you've got the three mirrors, so I really, really like that. And then it looks like this. For the Saint side, we have Absolution up here, which is a topper shade, I believe. Um, I will do swatches, but I'll have to show those in a separate clip because it's going to be so hard to show you. So we have Absolution, Worship, Immaculate, uh, Chalice, Sacred Heart, Amen, Sanctuary, Heaven, Crucifix, Cathedral, Rosary and Baptism and some of these shades are gorgeous. My favourite on the Saint side so far are Absolution, Amen, Rosary and Baptism. I really really like those. And then for the Sinner side we have Rapture, Sabbath, Ashes, Martyr, Devil, Revelation, Vest, Vestment? I don't know. Ministry, Exodus, Exorcism, Relic and Stigmata and some absolute standouts for me on this side are Sabbath which is like one of the most pigmented black eyeshadows I've ever used, Martyr, Devil, Ministry is gorgeous and Stigmata is amazing. So that is the breakdown of the palette. Um, so the only thing I'm a little bit unsure about is the layout of the colours. I've seen some people say they love it, some people say they're not so sure. Obviously you can see it's the inspiration is taken from like a stained glass window and as the, the light shines through and you've got like all the array of colours, I think it's really really pretty. But it doesn't necessarily make sense to me in terms of shade range. And I've seen a couple of people say that like once you take a look at it properly and you understand colour theory and all things like that it makes sense but I'm still confused so maybe I'm just dumb, I don't know but I'm still confused by this palette. Um, yeah, I kind of like in her other ones where the way it's laid out you can tell, you know, this is a good transition shade, you can use this, like the shade and light palette is laid out so beautifully and it makes sense but this doesn't make sense to me. Nonetheless, I love the colours, love the shadows, they're so pigmented, even the shimmery shades are pigmented, the metallics, just everything works the way it should and it's such amazing value as well to get 24 eyeshadows for £52, that is just incredible so yeah 
that is the basic look of the palette. So the eye look I am wearing today has been created using all shadows from this palette. And the shadows used in today's look are Amen, Martyr, Devil, Crucifix, Sabbath and Absolution. So if you want to see how to create this look, then I will pop the clip of me doing my eye makeup in now. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done my base, my contour, my brows, and I'm pretty sure it's everything. So we are just going to go straight in with the eyes. Um, I'm not entirely sure what look I want to do. I'm thinking like an orangey, like fall, autumn type look. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get going. I've done a, a look using this palette before, which is similar, and it turned out quite well, so I'm probably going to go with that. I've probably just jinxed it though. I swear I lose like all my brushes. I had so many Real Techniques size brushes and I've got three. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my base shadow brush from Real Techniques. I think I'm going to start with the shade Amen, which is this one here on the saint side, because I'm such a saint. This is a really, really good match like for my skin tone for just a laying down like a base shade. It's like the perfect shade. So I'm taking that all the way into the crease as well and then I'm just going to pull that under the lower lash line as well. Because it is like almost winter time, it's freezing outside, my skin is really dry, so my eyes are dry, so this look might go patchy, so good times. Right, now we have laid our base down, I am going to go into the shade Marta, which is on the synced side, um, and I don't have any shades like this, like I'd describe it like a fawn, is that the right word, a fawn shade? This was like one of the main reasons I bought the palette. I saw, I think it was Leah from the Kat Von D Artistry Collective do just like an all over eye look with the shade Marta and I was like, I need it, like, it is amazing. So this is one of the reasons I bought the palette. So we're gonna take that shade and I'm just gonna be blending that into my crease. I always get so disappointed if I start doing an eye look with shades that aren't Kat Von D because it takes so much more work and her shadows are so pigmented. Like you can just like one swipe, done, pigment, like other shadows are not as good. I think the biggest thing I need to improve on when I'm doing my eyeshadow is like blending it into a shape, not just blending and hoping for the best. Maybe one day I'll get good at these things. back in with that still with the Marta shade and really define the crease. Okay, next I think I'm gonna take the shade Devil, which is next to Marta and it is such a gorgeous matte orange shade, it's so bright. So I'm gonna take that and I'm only gonna take a tiny little bit and I'm gonna blend that in with Marta the outer corner. Okay, I'm gonna swap to my shading brush from Real Techniques and I'm going back in with the devil shade just to add some depth. back in with my base shader brush. I am going to grab another colour. I'm going to be taking Crucifix from the Saint side of the palette. It's maybe a slightly darker brown than I would want for this look, but I didn't want to swap into another palette. I just want to do all Saint and Sinner. Um, so I'm only taking that really lightly and again popping that in the outer corner. These shadows blend out so nicely together. I'm going to 
bring that crucifix shade into the, um, the outer portion of my lid as well. flat brush this isn't any particular brand this is just a cheap one I have lying around and I'm going to go back in with the devil shade from the Cine side and I'm going to be packing that on to my lid but focusing it on the inner and middle section of my lid also if you guys have any recommendations for a good high-end flat brush good for packing on eyeshadow do let me know because I am definitely in the market for one so awful, the shadow is not as popping as I would like it to be. I'm dragging that on the lower lash line as well, just in the inner portion. with my fluffy blending brush I'm going to grab a little bit more of that Marta shade and blend the edges out and I'm just that all along the middle lash line a little bit more of Devil and blend that back in and then back in the crucifix as well just add back in any definition that was lost I'm going to take the tiniest little bit with my shader brush of this matte black here, which is the shade Sabbath. And I'm going to pop that into my outer corner. It's really Finishing touches, I'm going to be taking this top shade here, Absolution, and popping that in the inner corner. It looks really pretty over the orange, it has like a slightly gold reflex, so it's really really cute. Now I'm just going to grab any um, black gel liner and line my waterline. Shade brush and blend that in. I'm taking Urban Decay's Troublemaker Mascara and popping that on my top and lower lashes. Obviously, the perfect liner for this look would be the Cap on the Tattoo liner, but sadly, both of mine have dried out so. Where well, I'm just a crappy drugstore one. Okay, to finish the look off and keeping in theme with the autumn winter look, I'm going to be using Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exorcism. So here is the finished look. But if you're not interested, not interested in how to recreate this look, then you can skip past that bit to watch the swatches. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in order of the swatches from top to bottom. Right, okay, I'm gonna start with the Saint side. So we have Absolution. So hard to tell if you can see this. Worship. Immaculate. Chalice. Sacred Heart. Amen. Sanctuary, Heaven, Crucifix, 
Brooks Cathedral Rosary and Baptism. So that is all the shades. It's just so, so gorgeous. Okay, so if we're gonna flip my arm around, I'm gonna swatch the thinner side. So we start off with Rapture, again, one of those topper shades. Then Sabbath. Ashes, which is nice and shimmery. Marta, Devil, Revelation, Investment, Ministry, Exodus, Exorcism, Relic, and Stigmata. That is all on the thinner side. So, just to recap, we have all of Saint and then all of Sinner. Okay, so now my arm is covered in a million swatches. You've seen all of the shadows from the palette. So yeah, when you look at the swatches, obviously it just makes it come to life a bit more and you can really, really see how they show up. And can we just like talk about this relic shade here? Like, that is just so mega pigmented. That is such a, such a standout shade. So that is my review of the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. Obviously it's gonna be a slightly biased review because I love Kat Von D. It's my favorite makeup brand in the world. But as you can see, I love it for a reason. The shadows are just amazing, they're so pigmented, the palettes and the products are always so creative and interesting, and it's just so different to the normal stuff that you see um, out there in the makeup industry. So, that is everything for this video. Let me know down below what you thought of this video, and if you have the Saint and Sinner palette, what are your favorite shades, or if you're thinking about picking it up. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video interesting or fun or maybe even slightly entertaining then yeah don't forget to give that a like and a whatever I don't know <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye